Okay, everyone, to continue our conversation from today, and by the way, I have tried to uh, burn these wheels, and it took a, it took a pretty long time for me to burn it. Um, as you can see, if you can see from a corner, I did try to burn it. These are polymer based material. We don't use uh, roller skate wheels. <laughs> um, you know, these are polymer based materials, so they're pretty durable. And it takes a little bit to, to burn them. Um, but nonetheless, right, I think the key here is, and by the way, these are two, two, three cases um, set at 38, you know, 38%. And as you can see, it's a, um, it's a pretty good anneal, right? If you look at all the cases here, right, they, they look great, uh, perfectly annealed. And the flame doesn't even need to be right on it, okay? And if you pay close attention, right, as you know, the flame, depending on how high you turn it, it does go, you know, wrap around the case. But when you nuke it, <laughs> all right, um, check this out. Right now, this looks okay. But if I just turn it higher, let me turn it higher one second. All right, as I turn it higher, you can see. It's also wrapping around the side. It's spreading out to the side pretty wide as well, right? So that's not what you want because it will burn, you know, it will spread so wide that, you know, depending on what cases that you're annealing, it may spread so wide that, it's, it, it, that it reaches the wheel, right? So if you're annealing, uh, you know, 76239 or 300 blackout. So you're, you know, those are a lot shorter. And imagine when you're nuking it, uh, turning it up so high and it's spreading so far out sideways, you will burn the wheel. Guys, look, when I talk about flame control, right, here's what it normally would look like. But as you can see, the flame not only goes above, you know, on top and bottom of the brass, it also you know, goes sideways. So when you turn it up too high, like this, you see how far out it spreads to the side, and that's what's burning your wheel, right? So if, if you have a shorter case and you're nuking it like that, that's what's burning your wheel. But if you turn it down to just like that, you see? The heat going off to the side is minimal to none. Right? So you want it just, just about like that. Right? Maybe even less. As I've shown earlier, right? It doesn't take much to anneal these brass. And this is how you want it. Right? Again, that, not that. All right, guys. About 250 cases. The entire hopper. Perfectly annealed brass, as you can see. These are 223. 38% power, took us about uh, close to 30 minutes. Um, you know, we take a slow, low flame, but again, all right, um, these things, is, they're pretty automated. You just let it run. Okay, everyone. So to wrap up this video, right, look at these cases, perfectly annealed. So we talked about flame control being critical, right, in successfully annealing your case without burning the wheel or, I mean, just in general, all right? So, uh, but besides that, in another video, uh, one thing is also critical is the angle of this thing, right? So a lot of times if you, you already have this, um, you know, pushed against, um, you know, the annealing machine and you have it flat like this, straight like this, and this is as far as you're going to go. And if you look at this, it's pretty close to uh, the wheel, right? So there's not much, you know, not, 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 not much further out you can angle it. But here's the trick, right? Don't, you know, right now this thing is, um, you know, the knob is at 12 o'clock position. You see, if you want to, if you want to, you know, do it inwards a little further, which I hope you don't, you, you know, you lean it out. But if you want to, you know, if you want to angle it outwards more, right? Now, look, you, you now you, you're angling this flame out, you see? So that's how you create the angle. 
you twist this left inwards and outwards, not by moving this left and right. That's how you create that angle, you see? So now you don't have to move this, this um, torch and you just simply move that outwards to create the correct angle. And number two, you want to get that as close as you can, right? So push, you know, push this thing all the way up against, right? Leave, don't leave any room. Push it up all the way against this thing, right? So um, that's, that's kind of the trick. So there you have it.